Okay, so let's see, Virgo, what we're moving away from, okay? And what is coming into our new year? How are we going into the new year, okay? So let's see. Okay, so we have the Ten of Rods here. I'm using the Hansen and Robert Tarot. And this is the Ten of Rods in reverse. So you're overcoming some challenges, Virgo, which might have felt like a burden on you, but it looks like you're overcoming them. Okay. And these might have been challenges in a relationship. So let's move a little bit further. And see how the reading is going to evolve. Oh, wow, that's good. You have a good card there, the star card. Your wishes come true. Um, restoration, things that are have been, excuse my nails there, chip, the paint chip, right after I polish them. Can you believe it? Okay, so the star card says about, it speaks about, and I usually don't polish my nails, but this time I figure the holiday, you know, minus, let's do something different, right? Oh, there you go, it chipped, okay. But this is a really good card to get, Virgo, because this is the star. You're bouncing back. You're being restored. You're overcoming whatever the challenges were, possibly in a relationship. Um, you're bouncing back. And already with the Ten of Rods, it shows that at one time, things were rough. Okay? You were going through it. All right? But look at how you're evolving and you're overcoming. So that is very, very good, Virgo. Very good. Let's move a little bit further. Oh, these are so tiny. Okay. The High Priestess in reverse so spirit is trying to communicate with you with the high priestess in reverse it could mean you're kind of second guessing what you're feeling deep inside about a situation follow your gut okay when you see this in reverse turn it up right follow your gut if you're feeling a certain kind of way um, don't second guess yourself if somebody's telling you something and you're really like I'm not sure about that follow your gut okay but you have that positive energy from the star card you're overcoming okay so that's a good thing look at that you have the knight of cups coming in wait a minute let me oh yeah the knight of cups so here's someone coming in your life. Oh, wow. It looks like... Now, this person is going in this direction. So this could be someone you already know. But I feel like with this energy holding the cup in hand, I feel like there's someone that cares about you or going to show you that they love you and care about you. So I feel new love is entering into your life or it's already there, actually. So it's already with you, okay? So this is a positive energy that's coming in with the Knight of Cups in a positive position. It talks about much happiness, much love. So that's a good, good sign, Virgo. Oh, 
Ah, Ace of Pentacles. All right, so we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So we're still trying to find ourselves uh, for the physical, in the physical here. Now, that's an Earth sign. We're an Earth sign, Virgo. However, there might be a little bit of challenges with money, uh, increase, and work, as I see coming ahead here. But you got that big star card coming in. So whatever... Gradually, things are being restored, okay? I see you bouncing back, okay? Whatever was lost, I see it coming back to you, all right? Now, with the Ace of Pentacles, this could be a particular situation. This may say that there could have been some delays. You may have to wait a little bit, but it's going to get better. You have the sun energy coming through, and that's a great energy to get aligned with the star card. Look at that. Hmm. Look at a little bambino on the horse. Is there a bambino on the horse? Okay. Let me not... It looks like a little one is involved as well. I feel for some of you, Virgo. So there could be a baby shower coming up as well or a, a new celebration, a new member of the family coming through. So I feel this energy coming through as well. So it's like the doors of blessings are opening up. But there could be some things that are still in the beginning stages and now... I feel like with the sun energy coming through, it's going to start flourishing, um, especially for the new year, I'm going to say. I see things coming in, and they're just like flourishing in. You got the sunflowers there. Is those sunflowers? They look like it. Um, longevity. Is he got a bow in his hand? Oh, you got the little toy bow, you know? You get a Toys R Us. Bang. Um, so I... <laughs> feel a lot of happiness from this card, you know, a lot of happiness, a lot of rejuvenation. It looks like there's going to be, I don't know. I see some things coming through here. I know this is not got the, got the, something is about to happen here. I see, I'm feeling something on the horizon here. We got cups, Knight of cups coming through. And we have the sun energy coming through here. So I just feel something is about to. Something you're about to give birth to metaphorically. Okay, can I say it like that without anyone getting, <laughs> jumping out of their skin? But some of you may, okay, because that's what I'm feeling here. Um, but I feel like. New things are on the horizon for you, especially with this this star card energy. Um, just total restoration and new love entering in your life, Virgo. Amazing. He's on a little pony. Ah, oh, he's getting a pony ride. Isn't that cute? Okay. Page of Swords. Yes, Virgo. And this is going to be a season here. You're going to start, you know, I know this is not a general reading. This is supposed to be a love reading, but there are new things. I feel like this is him that grew up. Um, new things are on the horizon for you. But I feel like also the sun energy could be new things, as I mentioned before, on the horizon now you have more of a perspective on the direction you go with, you're going in. It could be a relationship from what I'm seeing here. But I feel like with the Page of Swords, it's just new ideas, new uh, things, challenges from what I'm seeing here um, that you will overcome. Okay, so let me move a little bit further. We always have to have something in the bunch, right? Seven of Swords. Somebody is trying to manipulate or get away with something. Now, who is that? 
who could that be we got great things happening here now I see you're trying to make it happen here you're trying to make it do what it do with the ace of pentacles you're starting to see I feel like things are kind of slow and you want them to speed up okay because you got things you got to do here financially here also could be some health challenges as well kind of slowing things down but there's a new new awakening on the horizon now and you got that page of swords here ready to start those new tasks there especially with that special someone coming in could be strategizing on communication on how to talk with the person on uh, but you got the seven of swords here that you may have to you know uh, be a little bit cautious be watchful you know let me move a little bit further you may have a little bit, bit of a energy coming in that you may have to watch you know keep one eye open so let's move a little bit further and see what we get here. Ah, oh, but we got the Knight of Rods coming in. So we got that energy of passion. Oh, look at that. So we got two. We got the Knight of Cups and we have the Knight of Rods. So now Cups. So we got Cups and Fire here. We have an air sign here too. We have air energy coming in here. Now, hmm, night water. We got that coming through there. And yeah, there's other energy coming through. Ah. So it looks like for some of you are going to have options. Okay, now this night of, I feel like it's someone that really cares about you and love you with the Knight of Cups, all right? That's what I feel. I feel like this is the person with the Knight of Cups. If you're looking for stability, for that person to be there for you, yes. Not that the Knight of Rods is not going to be there for you, um... But I feel like you have options with uh, both. Obviously, for some of you, there's two coming in for some reason, okay? This person could be coming down the road, all right? So this could be somebody you know. This could be somebody new that's coming in. But they're coming in a positive position. I feel like your heart's desire could be with one of them possibly you have the two of rods here so I feel like with the two of rods there is a decision that you may be trying to make you may be pulled in two directions with the two of rods I feel like for some of you I know you know I know a lot of you don't juggle okay but just let me tell you this I feel like your heart's desire is with this person. In some situations, you may not be sure which direction this situation is going to go in. There could be some unsurety in the relationship. Maybe this is why I feel this high priestess. Okay? And I don't know why the seven of swords is there, but it's something you got to be watchful of. But there's a new energy coming in, quick, fast, physical. Um, so you got to be careful, even with this energy as well. All right. This energy seems to be connecting with the heart, but this energy may be connecting with the physical. It's where you get the passion from, that positive energy from. Um, but there are two options, and whatever how is it how it deals with your personal situation, I feel like you're being pulled in two different directions, um, and you could be at a standstill for some of you. Okay. Uh. 
Let me move a little bit further. And we have the chariot in reverse, so that's a standstill. It's like you want to know which direction you're going in. You're not sure of the answers, or you're not sure where the person is, go is going, or what they want. So I feel a little bit unsurety with these two energies here. Let me um, I I feel you made your decision. I feel you made a decision here, Virgo. With the Two of Cups, you might have. You might have made a decision. Could be would have. Could be here, but it feels like you were kind of deciding which direction to go in. Who to pick? Who to pick? So let's get some more clarification here from the Romance Angels. Like Doreen Virtue. Hmm. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. I pulled that card here. Let your friends help. Now, I'm not really sure how that resonate with you guys but if this card resonates with you guys let me know let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others depending on the situation you're in I suppose especially if you're getting ready for a little you know baby shower or whatever um, you know so I feel like if there's some type of gathering yeah okay that's what i see where that comes from get to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens now i pulled these cards before give it a shuffle Get to know each other. This is look like what you're doing here. Okay, go figure. For some of you, this may resonate with there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Like I said, I feel like somebody made a decision on a particular relationship. You had you have two coming up, okay? So it seems like you're trying to make a choice. So let me move a little bit further here. And see. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Well, it looks like that's what you're doing here. I feel like if you're in a place where the relationship is new, I feel like it's going to get deeper. Like I like I said, Virgo, I feel like you've got a second chance or a second second chapter you're starting with this star card here. And I feel like things are going to start working out really well for you in regards to love and relationship. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing for joy. I just wanted to pick that bonus card here and 
If this reading resonated with you, give the video a thumbs up. Also, you, you can tell me how it resonated with you by leaving a comment in the comment section. Also, you can share the video. I want to thank you for your likes, shares, and comments. Thank you and wishing you a happy holiday. God bless you.